Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. It's not too bad outside. Just want to get on here and ramble about a couple of situations. Not situations, or just... Yeah, I guess we can call them situations. So, it's like 2020. We made it. We made it. Y'all don't say nothing about my glasses. They got stepped on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm off today. I'm not doing nothing right with... Yeah, I'm straight. Anyway... It's 2020, so basically, we have, by far, by now, we should have focused on only positive thoughts, let let God lead in our lives, because, I mean, he led us to 2020, so, so I, hopefully y'all been praying and remaining positive, let him lead y'all life thus far, because by now, that's like the only way that we're going to remain survival in this world, because y'all know what's going on. It's well, it's a war going on, people. It is a whole war going on. So it's like, ain't nothing but, ain't nobody to run to but God. It ain't nowhere you can be safe. It, it's not, it, we're not safe no more in this world. So the earthly world is over for me. Like, I'm literally part of the spiritual world. I, I remain safe and secure in God. That's why I run to. I choose not to think about what goes on in the world anymore because... It's no, it's you're not safe. Like I feel like safer thinking about God and the promises of what's going of His word and, and how He keeps me mentally focused on Him, so I can get through. Because if you think about all these things and what's going on in the world, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. So y'all remain positive. Let God lead y'all life in in no way in the world you can feel fear or you can feel insecurity about your life and what's going to happen. So, that's message number one. How y'all doing? I'm looking out. Crest today. My teeth is brushed. Don't trip. I'm just... It's cold out here and I'm all... I should have put Vaseline on my lips, huh? But I didn't, so... I'm going to keep looking. But I want to talk about... Do y'all remember these flashcards I had in one video? I told y'all to write down a couple of words that um, that you could look at throughout the day, like in your bag or something. You might just oop, accidentally pick up the flashcard and whatever the word on the flashcard might just make give you like a boost of confidence or to keep pushing through your day at work or wherever you're doing. So these are blank. It's 2020. I feel new words. Like I didn't want to use the same words that I had the last video because I feel a new I feel different I feel a change this is a new year so I'm not gonna say a new me but it's a new year bringing on new adventures new risks new new everything so we're gonna come up with new words this year I do definitely feel very creative I really do feel very creative very creative so I'm gonna have that as one of my words creative when I say I feel creative, y'all, I feel like I like I'm trying to get um, t-shirts. I'm trying to make t-shirts with the words from my heart, the words God give me, just life experiences that I and I'm putting them on the shirt. It's gonna be beautiful, and y'all gonna love it. So y'all stay tuned for that. I feel creative in the aspect as. I'm going to write my first motivational speech this year. I'm going to say this year because I rumble so much that I feel like I need time to focus on one main topic. So, creative in the aspect is, I just feel like jumping out on faith and just all kind of things just going to happen, you know. And I'm just tapping into my creative side. I just feel creative this year. So, 2020, I feel creative. I also feel finally secure within myself to know everything going to be okay. God has brought me to the year of 2020. Me, I'm very comfortable in my relationship with God. I feel secure. I feel like God would never, God got me. I feel, I feel secure with that. God got me because I couldn't have made, I wouldn't have made it this far without God. I wouldn't have made it, y'all, this far without God. So I just feel like me and God are 
we are, we, we good. We ain't God good. Y'all, I hope y'all y'all get to that point where you ain't God good. It might take trials, tribulations, situations, which it has. Not just situations, oh, I got kicked out of the house. Y'all, when I say situations, I got a gun pulled out on me. I'm trying to sell some pussy. I'm being honest with y'all. This is the year of honesty. This is my year of actually telling all. And I have been in a situation where I used to prostitute. And the gun was pulled out on me. And God got me through that situation. So when I say situation, try the tribulations. That's what I mean. I hope y'all know that God is the only person, only thing, only the Alpha and Omega that, that has your back. That is like a, a big ass rock that's behind you that will not budge or move. And I'm so thankful and grateful that God has brought me this far. And I can't wait till y'all get to that point in y'all life, y'all spirit, and y'all mind to know that God has y'all back and has that same feeling that I do. And if you have reached that point, please email, please comment, like, and subscribe and let me know. But I'm honestly happy and secure within myself that I can honestly tell y'all the situations that I've been through in my life. That's why I think I can get on YouTube and tell y'all and preach to y'all how good God is. And motivate somebody that it may be been in my shoes to let go of your past. It is your past. My past do not define me. My past is my past. My past let me know that how strong of a woman I am to keep pushing. So if women, men, if you're out there thinking your past will always define you, or your past will always hunt you, or your past will be there lurking, it will not be. Believe in God. Get on your knees and let God know. Let God know you know that he's the head of your life. Let God lead the way. And he has led the way because I no longer care for what I did in the past because my past and my past. I'm thanking God for my future. My past defined me. No, sir. My past has made me and let me know I am the beautiful, strong woman that I am today. Y'all, y'all need to know that that's all in life. That's all you got is God. God has brought me this far. God has gave me the confidence to get on here and do life with my head up. I used to be depressed. I used to be depressed for four years straight. I used to be off and on. I used to be on drugs. My God, I'm clean 10 years. My God, no more depression because I can look up to the sky, which my, which my help come from. I raise my hand just to touch a garment of God. I, I think about his words, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God, y'all don't know how good it, be. it feels to be here just sitting on this porch being thankful the year 2020 is approaching oh just a little testimony y'all just a little testimony anyway my glasses are broke and i can't fix them so creative and secured i'm sorry y'all i get so excited when i be talking about god i be like bam 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 my little ashes mm -mm, cute yeah. creative secure excited y'all i'm excited i ain't gonna lie y'all i'm excited for what this year might bring are y'all excited for whatever might happen this year just know god gonna get you through it so y'all let's get let's be excited let's have an attitude of gratitude you know be thankful for where you're at now so you can have better in life attitude have a okay and i wrote that all wrong have a attitude of gratitude y'all get y'all some note cards you know take your little bag with y'all to something with y'all to work or wherever y'all school and just write your little positive um little notes on the little note card and as you go in your bag throughout the day you can pick up the card on um, mistake or not and just read it and make you know give yourself a boost of confidence it, it helps like it really do help i hope i'm helping um I hope I gave y'all a good message because I really feel like I gave y'all a good message. I was trying to figure out like what I'm going to say on here, but I think that was a really good message. I also want to talk about this, this right here. It's called the Daily Bread. I get these and they come like three months and they free like that December, January, February, and 2019, 2020. So I read yesterday, yesterday's um, message in this. January the 7th, right? Secret delivery. 
a clear glass vase with bell-shaped lilies of the valley, pink tulips, and yellow daffodils greeted Kim at her front door. For seven months, an anonymous believer in Jesus sent Kim beautiful bouquets from a local flower shop. Each monthly gift arrived with a note filled with scriptural encouragement and signed, Love Jesus. Kim shared photos of these secret deliveries on Facebook. The flowers gave her opportunity to celebrate an individual kindness and to acknowledge the way God expressed his love to her through his people. As she trusted him through her battle with a terminal disease, Every colorful blossom and handwritten note affirmed God's love and compassion for her. The sender's anonymity, anonymity reflects the heart mode of Jesus and encourages people to adopt when giving. He warns against practicing righteous acts to be seen by others. Good deeds are intended to be expressions of worship overflowing from hearts grateful for all God's done for us. Highlighting our own generosity with the hope or expectation of being honored can take the focus off the giver of all good things. Jesus God knows when we give with good intention. He simply wants our generosity motivated by love as we give him the glory, the honor, and the praise. How can you place a spotlight on Jesus by giving something to someone in secret this week? How can you how can you give God credit when, while still accepting while still accepting appreciation? I don't wanna talk about that like if you're out in public and you give a homeless person something in front of people, like, is that doing it in, I mean, people going to see it. And I've been sowing seeds, like, I'm going to call it sowing seeds. I've been giving to homeless. The little I have, I've been giving to it because I know I have more. Like, I might come home with food and I give it to them because I know I got food at home. But he really wanted the sandwich yesterday. I ain't going to front. Yeah, but I gave it to a man because he was less fortunate than me. But it was on the train, so like I was thinking, like I didn't. What I supposed to pull them to the side and be like, "You want this sandwich?" But I was just saying, my whole point of that is, y'all be a blessing to someone, regardless if you have it or not. Like the little thing helps. I don't have money to give to people every time, but food, whatever you can, you know, the little thing helps. I just want y'all to be a blessing to someone, like someone been a blessing to me. Y'all have a good day.